Hi, my joys. It is a beautiful, beautiful day here in the Bay of Islands. And we've just let go of another rescue butterfly. And as I was sitting here, I started to pen a scene from my upcoming romance called Love in Montana. And I thought about the theme of be love. And here's what I've written. Be love. Be love, Lizzie affirmed. Be love. It seems so simple on the surface, two little words, big on intention, high on believing. If she could be love, embody love, ooze love from every fibre of her being, maybe she could find her way back to Jack. Maybe she could forgive the past, their false and fake romance, their counterfeit marriage and start again. Be kind. Love is kind, she affirmed. Love doesn't hold grudges. Love doesn't dredge up the past. Love forgives. Can love forget, she asked. The choice is yours, can the answer. Love triumphs hate. Love is light. Love wins. Be forgetful, she affirmed. Forgive those who you believe, rightly or wrongly, have trespassed against you. Be in the moment, this beautiful, beautiful moment, rich with the promise of new beginnings. Love is hard to define, but easy to feel when it is present. And it is e present every time she was with Jack. Every time she smelled his familiar cologne, every time his breath tickled her ear. Was love afraid? Hell yes, love was a freedom-fighting bucking bronco that could throw you any moment, any day. But love was also fearless, like the summer skies of Montana, unencumbered by thoughts of harsh winters to come. Love was loving in sickness and in health, in snow-laden mountains and spring pastures. Love was a shadow and love was the light. Love lived for now and the promise of summers to come. How many summers did she have left? Forty? Forty-two? However long or short she had left, all she knew was she wanted to spend all her days with Jack, loving him in Montana. I hope you enjoyed this little excerpt as I sit here. It's part of my writing process, just sitting here in the morning, basking in the beautiful, beautiful Bay of Islands. And I do like to use a yellow writing pad to handwrite my scenes, and then I will narrate them into my current manuscript. And this is an excerpt of Love in Montana. The prequel, her billionaire fake cowboy fiancé, is actually alive, alive, live on all good bookstores currently. Thanks everyone and uh, I welcome your comments and I hope that you enjoyed it. I loved reading it for you. This is Molly Matthews.